Meghan Markle had no intention of pulling her weight as a working royal before she and Prince Harry left the UK and moved to the US, a royal historian has claimed. The Duchess of Sussex had a little plan from the start, meaning she did not want to contribute to the royal family as a hard-working member, claimed author Hugo Vickers. Critics of Prince Harry and his wife Meghan weighed in over the past week after it was announced that the Princess of Wales is in hospital following abdominal surgery and that King Charles will undergo an operation after being diagnosed with an enlarged prostate. Some critics have urged Harry to step up and help the royal family, while others said he would have had his moment now that three senior royals are momentarily pausing their public duties if he and Meghan had not left the firm. Royal expert Robert Jobson suggested that Harry could have been very useful if the Sussexes had not stepped down as working royals. Read more, Meghan Markle had no intention of pulling her weight as royals suffer health crisis, but as health crises hit the royals, one of the couple's critics, Mr. Vickers, told Page Six, Meghan Markle had no intention of pulling her weight. She surely had a little plan from the start, which did not include being a hard-working supportive member of the royal family. Harry got on well with his family before he married. Afterwards, I rest my case. In fact, despite having parted ways with working royal life in early 2020, Harry and Meghan have still racked up hundreds of engagements between them. Harry came 14th on a list of the hardest-working royals last year with 1,009 engagements. His final ever event was in March 2020, when he and Meghan attended the annual Commonwealth service at Westminster Abbey. For all the latest on news, politics, sports, and showbiz from the USA, go to the Mirror US. Meanwhile, as health crises continue in the royal family, Catherine, 42, is expected to remain in the private London clinic for 10 to 14 days, and has been ordered to take up to three months to recuperate. She is not expected to return to royal duties until after Easter, and William has cleared his diary and temporarily stepped back from his royal role to look after their children and care for Kate. The King, 75, has spent the past week in the sanctuary of Birkhall on the Balmoral estate, but received his diagnosis on Wednesday, having had a checkup after experiencing symptoms. Charles, who has cancelled engagements and been ordered to rest, will be admitted to hospital in the coming days for a corrective procedure for the benign condition. Buckingham Palace, in an unprecedented double royal health scare, announced the news just 90 minutes after Kensington Palace revealed the Princess of Wales was in hospital after abdominal surgery. Camilla insisted the king was fine and looking forward to getting back to work when she visited an art gallery in Aberdeen on Thursday. Meanwhile, a PR expert told The Mirror that Harry and Meghan might have to grovel and substantially lower their fee if they want to renew their Netflix deal. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are nearing the end of their five-year $100 million, £78 million, contract with Netflix, signed in 2020 but it is not yet known if the deal will be extended next year. PR guru Ryan McCormick told said, Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary was the highest viewed documentary premiere for the streaming platform. However, according to Statista, the 2022 series has seen a precipitous drop with each subsequent episode. In addition, the series has a 19% audience rating on Rotten Tomatoes.